Hey everybody, how's it going? Happy Wednesday afternoon. Um, yeah, it's winter. Really winter. So, hope you guys are staying warm and um, and uh, taking care of yourself. And, uh, so, anyway, looking forward to a good kickoff tonight to uh, our Wednesday nights and uh, on into Sunday. Um, I know it's going to be some powerful times um, ahead of us. The Lord's been good to us and we just keep um, sensing his, uh, his leadership and his help through, through, uh, challenging times, but, and we'll, but we're just seeing such good things that, uh, he's doing for, um, among us. And we're grateful. We just want to stay in that attitude of, of, uh, gratitude. I was hearing a message earlier today, um, about being filled with the spirit and, and it was in, um, you know, the Ephesians, um, Five passage and uh, the Colossians three passage where they kind of, um, you know, uh, being filled with the Spirit and ha- letting the Word of Christ dwell in you richly, and then it goes on as an outward. What should naturally flow from us as being filled with the Spirit is God, He p- puts a song, song in us as you sing, as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs um, t- with each other. And again, it's in community and. Um, and with gratitude, with thanksgiving, all that is connected. So I, I just, uh, it's richness of those passages. So with that attitude, um, as you guys prepare, um, we have so much to, again, be thankful for, stay thankful for, and uh, just look forward to worshiping with, with you. Um, so going to be a little bit abbreviated worship time on Sunday. Um because of a, a just kind of a special presentation, exhortation, encouragement, challenge from uh, um, Jim Fall and Stacy. Um, they're going to have about 10 minutes or so kind of after worship before the message time to uh, share share some things uh, just as a way of ways that we can um, improve, enhance, provide atmosphere uh, of worship as it relates to uh, just taking care of our kids. So it's going to be going to be good. So we'll be in prayer about that. Stacy's been um, preparing and praying, and we have been supporting her in that. So, um, yeah, we're, um, that'll be good. So we will shorten our worship set just a little bit. Um, not a lot, but just a little bit. So um, let me talk to you. And I picked uh, pretty pretty. St- Pretty uh, wheelhouse tunes for for this week, just uh, tunes that we can dive into with really really well and and uh, um, encourage our body to worship. So this is amazing grace. We're gonna start. Um, so I'm gonna make kind of one instructional video um, this week and then one run through video. Okay, um, it's gonna be simple enough. I don't need to separate you know, band, band and vocals. So, uh, this is amazing grace. We're just going to do it just standard. Christopher, you're on electric this week. So, uh, nice, uh, electric lead on that vocally. I think I've, I've picked the tunes in such a way, uh, guys that, uh, Tammy, you and I can stay lead. I think the whole time, um, Kevin, as you sing through them, let me know, but I think, I think the tenors is going to be manageable throughout, um, most of the of the songs if not all so i'd like kevin you to just go for the tenor part when we go into parts and um then that leaves you megan to uh sing sing on uh, an alto part and i'll kind of so just the part above the, the tenor there so it should should work out really well I'll, I'll plan on staying lead unless kevin you just let me know if it gets gets high we can swap okay no problem it's kind of like we do it Okay, so this is Amazing Grace to start with the eight bar intro, you know, da, 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 and we're in a little bit of a lower key, so it's going to be a little comfy, you know, that da, 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 okay, hey, I want to welcome Colin, Colin, Colin's going to be playing keys for us uh, this week, and uh, 
and uh, excited about that. I know you've been on a time or two before, but uh, it's great to bring you. We're going to be working in some more of our of our high school students uh, from time to time. Um, you know, James has been playing a little bit, and probably going to be start working in uh, Spencer a little bit, Christian a little bit, and um, maybe some others. So we'll see. Just here and there. So, Colin, welcome. Um, if I have a chance, I'll go over with you maybe Thursday. Maybe we can grab a minute while you're here and look at the keyboard and just double check and look at the settings and stuff so you're comfortable. But uh, yeah, we kind of have a standard one that we use for most and then unless we have a specialized song that we kind of adjust with it. But uh, um, yeah, this one will probably be the number one pad sound, okay? All right, so we do the A-bar intro again. Um, verse one and verse two. Let's let's sing it unison and then break into parts on the chorus. Verse one, verse two, chorus, and then it has four bar instrumental. Verse three, verse four, chorus, and then after that, after that second chorus, I want to just have four bars of E vamp. So we finish the second chorus. Jesus, I sing, and I want to point out something. We do it naturally. I just want to point it out so everyone's on the same page. Um, on your chord chart, you see that little NC on that last line of the chorus where it says, Jesus, I sing for, right after the B, it says NC in parentheses. That means no chord. If you didn't know, that means no chord. So that means we stop. So we're going along. Oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. You normally do that anyway, but just pointing that out, that little break there. So we finish that last chorus. Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. One, two, three, four, two, four bars. Worthy is the lamb. So four bars of E. Worthy is the lamb who was slain. Then we go on to the bridge. Worthy is the king conquered the grave. Worthy is the lamb who, I'm sorry, I sang it wrong. First two times. Worthy is the lamb who was slain, right? Worthy is the king who conquered the grave. Here's the second time. Worthy is the lamb who was slain. Worthy is the king who conquered the grave. And then we go up. Let's sing those first two passes unison, and then we can break into parts here. Worthy is the lamb who was slain. Worthy is the king who conquered the grave. And then we start. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Oh, this is amazing grace. And I'd like a stop there too when we go. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Let's see. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Oh, this is amazing grace. Okay, I like that stop there too, leading into that. Okay. Um, then we do the chorus and um, into the ending, which is listed there, and it's just the vamp back and forth, eight bar outro with the A and the E, or the E and the A. Okay, parts are pretty simple because the melody is right here. This is this is amazing grace. So Tammy and I are right there. Amazing grace. So Kevin, this is amazing grace, this is unfailing love, you would take my place, you would bear my cross, you laid down your life, that I would be set free, oh, Jesus I sing for all that you've done for me, okay, and that would put you, Megan, the next stack up, this is this is, this is amazing grace, right? This is unfailing love That you would take my place That you would bear my cross And you lay down your life That I would be set free Whoa, Jesus, I sing for All that you've done for me Okay, got pretty comfy for you guys just one opening tune there. And again, band-wise, you guys know basically um, we just get soft at the beginning of the bridge. 
and build it. But it's pretty much full tilt um, right out of the gate. Okay. All right, we're gonna open the set. This one we we did this a long time a while back. This is just a hymn and an old chorus that I put together. Oh, four thousand tongues, and uh, oh, how they love Jesus. Kind of fun. Um, just to to open the set, maybe just refer back to last week and um, and Jesus is our first love. Oh, how I love Jesus. So it just has this. Let's see, it has this. Makes the feel work is those punches. Ba, ba, ba. So we want to hit those together, um, especially with the bass, um, you know, guitar. We want to make sure we hit those punches together. Bum, da, ding, da, ding, da, da, da. Ba, ba, ba. Okay? So we sing, oh, for a thousand tongues to sing. My great Redeemer's praise, the glories of my God and King, the triumphs of His grace. Okay, that's kind of the basic vibe we sing. First verse, uh, verse 1 and 2, then the chorus, singing, Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, because he first loved me. Kind of slightly different feels <laughs> between the two songs, but it, they kind of, I think they kind of work as we marry them together. So um, we do verse one and that little vamp uh, that little intro feel verse two chorus then that little intro thing again verse three intro verse four and then a double chorus and then um after the double chorus we move into the intro feel again which on your chart is called a transition the top of the second page which is basically the same thing as the intro but then you'll notice on the uh, top of the second page the last measure um we have a transition chord the D sus which is a gets us into the key of G so top of the page do so I'll slow it down a little bit so starting with the bottom of this first page because he first loved me F C N say you hit that ba 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 my gracious mass, and then we're off to the new key. Assist me to proclaim, to spread through all the earth abroad the honors of thy name. Tag to spread through all the earth abroad the honors of thy name. And um, again, I think this one will be easy to sing unison on the first verse or two and then harmonize on. Um, I think it should be pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, oh, how I love melodies there. Mm. Oh, how I love Jesus. Tenor. Oh, how I love Jesus. Alto. Oh, how I love how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, because he first, because he first loved me. Okay, and then tenor is, oh, how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, because he first loved me. Okay, should work okay. Then we're gonna flow right out of that 
when we hit that in the key of G. Yeah. Guys, I want you to be really ready. Uh, Christopher, Derek, ready right out of the gate. Just to go into a nut, the drum fill. Well, you can click kind of one, two, ticka, 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 da, 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 da. You know how this, this song starts. Um, just right with that electric guitar fill. So whatever is comfortable to get you in. I'm going to turn it over to you guys, though. So kind of me. I was going to give you a nine, one, two, three. Ticka, ticka, da, 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 da. Okay, notice uh, I corrected your chart just to make sure um, on the second measure the key chord change is on beat three, not on beat one. So it's six counts of G. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, to the C. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do just as we've done it before, this line in the land. We introduced it a few months ago. Two times through that intro and then um, the verse is uh, just fairly moderate. It's not full driving, but it's up. And then when we get to the chorus, it's up, but it's it's diamonds. It's just really vocal driven and bass. You change the chords underneath us, uh, but we're not doing any kind of rhythmic drive. It's just kind of our God is a lion, lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting, fighting our battles. And every knee will bow before him. That whole first chorus, just diamonds. Just hit it, let it ring. Okay. And then the the rhythm really kicks back in and the drive kicks back in. Oh, every knee will bow before him. Just like the in beginning. On the instrumental. So open up the gates. Okay. And we go into verse two. Um, and then the chorus full tilt. And then we have an instrumental two, which I've written on your chart, which is basically the bridge chords. We play through the bridge chords once, and we're getting softer there. So uh, nice full pad sound. Um, Colin, just kind of two, 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 and two, three, and who can stop the Lord for my starts soft and builds we do uh, four bridges and uh, just gradually building and we get to the last bridge who can stop the we sing in the Lord Almighty every time except for the very last one we hold Lord so uh, who can stop the Lord Almighty who can stop the Lord hold it four counts Lord and then Two, two measures of, of G vamp. We just hit it, and then that's the electric guitar. Uh, or kind of a Christopher, you know what I'm talking about. And into the chorus again. Okay, so two measures of G, electric guitar solo, uh, fill into the chorus again. Okay? And then um, full on chorus, and then the ending is going to be just simple. It ending is going to be just kind of like that two bar fill, only have four bars. So when we finish, every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb. Every knee will bow before him. Four bars of G, bam, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three. Four and four, two, three, four, five. Sorry, yeah. Four full measures, and then we 
stop on the downbeat of the fifth measure. I have that notated, okay? Again, vocals, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, this is the one that might, Kevin, I don't know, we'll have to see, might be high on the tenor part. Our God, because the melody's all the way up here. Our God is a lion. Yeah, tenor's pretty high. God is a lion, lion of Judah, roaring with power and fighting our battles. And every knee will bow before him. God is a lamb. That's the tenor, so um, we could maybe rearrange things a little bit if we did it that way in that voicing, because that would put you up here, um, Megan. B. God is a lion, a lion of Judah. He's roaring with power, fighting our battles. And every knee will bow before again. Our God is a lamb. Okay, so that might be one we flip flop on, Kevin. Just kind of, kind of let me know because it's starting up on a G. Okay, I'm just open to go, go either way on that. All right, when we finish mm, on the nice G chord, we're just gonna kind of um, just kind of do a little brief quotation, little visit to an old favorite. Not do the whole song, but just kind of again give us a little taste of an old favorite. Just talking about uh, who God is. He's a lion and the lamb. There's nobody compare to him we'll just kind of how great is our God key of G sing with me how great is our God oh see how great how great is our God uh, I have it only as one time but I think I'd like to do it two times in G how great is our God, oh sing with me, how great is our God, oh see how great, how great is our God. And we're going to go up, just a direct, one, two. and how great is our God, oh sing with me, how great. Is our God, oh no, we'll see how great, how great is our God. And then we're going to end it a cappella. Great is our God, sing with me how great is our God, oh, we'll see how great, how great. Is our God. That's it. That's all we're going to do for that song. Let's all get us into this. I'll kind of. We have to get into the 6 8 feel here. So we'll hang on a minute. No, I'm sorry. Should have been slower than that. <laughs> love this song. And Megan, I'd love for you to start this first verse by yourself. You give life. You are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart that is broken. Great are you, Lord. I'm going to repeat the first verse with everybody. 
somebody coming in. You give life. You give love. And you hear us again. Repeat the first verse. Everybody unison. Go on to the chorus. It's your breath in our lungs. And again, I think we can go back to the normal voicing where I go back to lead. It's your breath. You ought to be up here, Kevin. It's your breath in our lungs. Sweep pour. And on the suspended note, pour out our praise. Pour out our praise. It's your breath. In our lungs, as we pour out our praise to you only. You get it. It's really hovering on that D. Whereas, Megan, you're going to go up to here. It's your breath. In our lungs, we pour out our praise. Pour out our praise. It's your breath. In our Instrumental one, we do the verse again, and then we do a double chorus, and then instrumental two, where we get soft band. The earth will shout your oh, sorry. Mm. Nice little subtle electric guitar in there. We do that pass and do the pad and just light strumming Brian. Eighth note, but ding, 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 and um, holy earth will shout your praise. The leaves will rise. And great. We're gonna do this three times. You get us in the first time, and we'll go to two parts. Second time. So we could go add this part. Holy Kevin will shout your praise. Our bones will cry. The bones will sing. Great, great, great are you, Lord. Okay, and then second, third time, Megan, come in on this. Shout your praise, our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. It's your breath, and we go in our lungs as so we pour out our praise. Okay? And then we do two choruses and then the uh, outro ending instrumentally. Okay? Pretty straightforward stuff for Sunday. I just uh, pray that, uh, um, yeah, the Lord helps you as uh, you go through it and it ministers to your heart and so that we are able to um, let it flow out of our, of our hearts as we uh, come on Sunday. And um, just be in prayer, um, you know, you pastor's going to be talking out of Hebrews um, 10 um, about the church, about not forsaking uh, the assembly, you know, of the body of Christ together and realizing that all the more as the day of his return com is coming, that we uh, have, need to be committed, plugged in, focused on um, being who we need to be as the body so that we can be strong in the world strong for each other and and uh, just the whole reality that when we're not there it's not just us that misses out but we deprive the body of what of what it needs and so it's going to be powerful so just be in prayer that that we'll be ready to receive that hearts will be prepared and that uh, lord will use our worship to help um help hearts be pliable and ready ready to receive the word all right 
see you Sunday, if not before, probably tonight.